So I have a tip. Como treinar como é? Tips like advice. Ne 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 tá como é? Itaro. Concerning your children. E gurulias que elas têm. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take anything for granted. What do I mean by that? Don't assume that these little beautiful little children that because they come to church, oh, they'll find out everything they need about God. Don't mistakenly assume that become that because they come to church they're going to find everything about God themselves. So today take some time and go read again Psalms 78. Because when you read it it says this was so important to take everything you know about God and transition it and teach your children. Verse 5, it says, it was established as a testimony to be rehearsed generation after generation, and it was made a law. It was made a law. You have to do this. So the question becomes, why? Why did they have to do this? Why is it important? As you read that text, it says that they would set their hope in God, the next generation has to catch this. You share everything that you've learned with God to this other generation so that they'll set their hope in God. And that text says that they should not be like their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation. You see what I'm saying? In one generation, you can lose. The text there says this was a generation whose heart was not steadfast. Their heart was not steadfast. Why was that? Somehow that previous generation didn't transfer what they learned to the next generation. Can you read verse 9, Pastor? Verse 9 says, so here's an interesting point. It seems like out of the blue, all of a sudden Ephraim comes on the scene. Kuma mwandiki akiandiko hano wa Ephraim. Yeah, you don't hear anything about it before. Ah, tutira moe na tutira ni tutia ni tu hano wa kera upere. So the Bible was pointing out there's something significant about this tribe named Ephraim. No nigea da tuote kuru tuote gari akere hengere kano ya ya rore ni rulu wa Ephraim. The tribe of Ephraim was well stocked as far as an army. Rusko rusko ando ya Ephraim we are we are our own wale ni maruti tu hano wa kuru ambara na mota ni moe mota. They were great archers. They could sling stones. They, they were fierce warriors. So it seemed like they'd have everything going for them. And yet, and yet, so the Bible says they turned back 
in the day of battle. They turned back, they, they ran, they turned tail, they left. They quit the battle, they left and went home. They were ill prepared. For they were not equipped for the real life battle. So parents understand that what God has placed in your hand is not just the gift of that little child, although he did. But we are commanded by God that everything that you've experienced in God transfer it to that young man. I'm almost done. Proverbs 27, 24. Proverbs 27, 24 says, Riches are not forever, nor does a crown endure to all generations. So we can't just assume because we have kids they're going to learn everything there is to do about God. We are mandated by God to share everything that God has told us and taught us. And transfer to these beautiful children. Transfer it. Teach them. Instruct them. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Second Timothy 